Hello everyone, Jacobo here and I welcome you to yu gi Games 2022, an event in which 48 Yu-Gi-Oh content creators decide to take a break from refreshing the Konami banlist page and fight to the death in an arena. You know, content for kids! They will be divided in 12 groups of 4 and only one person can stand on top of that pile of bodies. However, before we begin, remember to like and subscribe for more content and also comment on who you want to see next year. So without further ado, let's show the contestants! In District 1, or as I would like to call it, the Team Not USA, we have Shinakami, Team NDL, NDDD Games TCG and MUA. Deal with it, this is my show. Next we have Team Pro Players with Tatsim, Shadow Realm, YGO, Raphael, Naven, and Elysium. Followed by District 3, The Girl Power with Alexis YT, Fifth Rate Duelist, Annie E, and Aitomari. Team I had no idea where to put you guys, Fusion YGO, Bystander, X79, Dark Spiral, and Spanko YGO. District 5 comprised of Duel Links players, with Duel Links Meta, Guns Blazing, Nefroth, and Mario ZRG. District 6 is the Team Coalition of Scrubs with From the Deck, Team Chaos Streams, Young Man Ray, and GS Cards. District 7 comprised of VTubers, the VTuber section, Vanilla Scoop, Aza YGO, Ameka, and Rez. Team I had no idea whether to put you guys to the Electric Boogaloo with Casual Kiwi, Teal Gym Gaming, Yuki Mans and Sparado. Next we have Team NAS Nemesis with Noah Jank, TGS Anime, Yu-Gi-Oh! Everything and Little Kribo. I just hope we don't get striked. Team Funny Guys with Golden Nova, King Scarlet Yu-Gi-Oh! Yatalocked and Rata. The penultimate entry in this competition, Team Simo and Pals with Simo, Nimnim, MBT and House of Champs. And finally, Team Judges with Distant Coder, Lair of Darkness, Firefall IGO, and MST.TV. <laughs> And here we go, Tatsum and Alexis start a fight for a bag, but uh, Alexis gives up and retreats. Till runs away from the cornucopia, and so does Rata. And he finds a bag full of explosive, which is very good for killing people, while Kodor scares Scoop away out from the cornucopia. The candidate Alex are on the hour 5 of waiting for a judge on Dueling Book, I can totally understand. This is a great issue, that there are no judges when you need those. Well, Dylan runs away from the cornucopia. Zara finds the bow, some arrows and a quiver, I hope that she can do something cool with those. While Rez decides to grab a sword. Alice decides to run away from the cornucopia, and so does Eliraz. Gage decides to return to Monkey and normal summons Alistair. While Chaos and Bystander are on our five of waiting for a judge call on Dueling Book. They're not the first one and probably not the last. Raphael decides to run away from the cornucopia. While Sparado, Sam and Kiwi start fighting, but Sam runs away as Sparado kills Kiwi. We have our first death, casual Kiwi, the New Zealand guy, I am very sorry my dude. And for some reason I find John hiding in the cornucopia and I kill him. That's not good, YouTube. Christian scares Martin away from the cornucopia, while Nova does the same to NDD. Mario decides to retreat very passionately, while Ray decides to react to the newest episode of the Progression series. Well, I, I can understand the sentiment. It's good content. Yugi Man decides to run away from the cornucopia, and so does Aza. Spanko is going right behind them, running away as well. And so is Josh. Nifroth scares Stratos away from the cornucopia, while Amai runs away. Noah and Farfa fight for a bag, Farfa gives up and retreats. Noah has won this battle. Guns decides it's a good idea to throw a knife into Shinakami's chest, while Yata and Tombox fight for a bag, however Tombox is too strong and Yata decides to retreat. Ameka takes a handful of throwing knives, while King Scarlet runs away. From the deck finds a backpack full of original video ideas, like reacting to progression series, while Joseph Rothschild decides to run away. James takes a spear from inside of the cornucopia, while Lulu finds a bag full of explosives. Well, at least it's not raining. Welcome to day one, where we start with Dylan making a wooden spear, which is a good choice. Any kind of spear is good for reach and stabbing people, while King Scarlet constructs a shack. Sam decides to react to the newest episode of the Progression series, just like everyone else on the internet, and Noah forces Rez to kill either Martin or Farfa, however Rez refuses to kill, so Noah kills 
res instead. Oh. Brutal. Ellen has decides that I need a hole in my abdomen, most likely in the form of a spear. I, I can, I, I can see the, I can see it. I, I can see it. While Raphael and the Josh from the Tech and Spanko hunt for other tributes, Steel decides, fuck it, and I'm gonna to go to sleep. While Yata receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor, Ray decides to pick some flowers, while Lulu travels to higher ground. Amai goes hunting, while Annie discovers a cave. Alex, Yugimans, Joseph, Aza, and Nova decide to hunt for other tributes, while Scoop questions his sanity. Don't we all? And Alexis stabs Tatsim with a tree branch. Oh my, that was brutal. Love it, give me more. Team Chaos and Stratos decide to work together for the rest of the day, while Gage diverts Emeka's attention and runs away. Coder overhears James and Tombox talking in the distance, and Nifrim does the same with Mario and Christian. Bystander receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor, while Elise decides it's not worth the hassle and sleeps for the remainder of the day. Unfortunately, Rata sprains his ankle while running away from Sparado, while DK receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. I think it's going to be a very big part of his character moving forward. Guns decides to react to the newest episode of the progression series. Well, like I said, it's it's good content. Very low effort. Low effort, much views. Good content. While Zara receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Welcome to night one, where Coder decides to cook his food before putting his fire out. While Lou decides that sleep is for the week and stays awake all night. Then DD questions his sanity, like every single one of us. While Aza convinces Stratos to snuggle with him. I, I think this is going to be a good base for, for a collab. I would like to I would I would like to see that, yes. Martin and Alice tell stories about e themselves to each other, while Josh from the deck Joseph and Amai tell each other sto ghost stories to lighten up the mood. Bystander goes to sleep. Weakling. While Zara, Mecca and Yada cheerfully sing songs together. Aw, that's adorable. Alexis receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. She she already killed the guy with a branch. Why do you give her a hatchet? While Noah, Farfa, and Yugi Mans get in the fight, but Yugi Mans is too strong, does a full Dragon Link combo, and triumphantly kills both of them. James decides that sleep is for the weak and stays awake all night, while Dylan and Mario run into each other and decide the truce for the night. Alex and Nova hold hands. Aww. I think that. I would. I would watch this. I would watch a call up between those two. You're already holding hands. Let go all the way. Oh my. While Tombox and Infrath Ray and Spanko sleep in shifts. DK, Guns, and Raphael discuss the games and what might happen in the morning. I guess they won't go well with each other since DK and Guns are dual links players and Raphael is a pro TCG player. While Gage and King Scarlet run into each other and decide a truce for the night. And Chaos kills Rato with his own weapon. Ooh, brutal. Alaraz receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. While Steel, Scoop, and Sparado discuss the games and what might happen in the morning. I wonder if they talk uh, with DK and the gang. Sam is unable to start a fire and sleeps while at warmth. I just hope he doesn't die from hypothermia. While well, Annie destroys Christian's supplies while he's asleep. That's a very brutal but very effective move as well. well at least it's not raining. Aza scares Gage off while well, Elise tends to Joseph's wounds. Oh, that's that's cute. Yugi Mans and Martin hunt for other tributes, while Amai receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. James scares Nova off, while Alexis jokingly, I mean jokingly, slow plays. Christian decides to pick some flowers, while Sparado scares Steel off. Mario does a full Dragon Link combo, and unfortunately Ray dies of boredom. Dylan receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor, while Raphael sprains his ankle while running away from Spanko. Annie searches for firewood, while Bystander goes hunting. Alex poisons King Scarlet drinks, he drinks and dies. Oh, Alex, that was very, very sneaky. Yata and Gans struck down and kill Josh, while Stratos goes hunting. Sam scares Eleraz off, while Nifrov discovers a cave. I wonder it's the same cave as Annie discovered the day before. Andy D receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. America and Chaos fight Scoop and Coder. Scoop and Coder survive. Zara discovers a river, while from the deck and Tombox split up to search for resources. And Lulu attacks DK, but he manages to escape. <laughs> and
and we start night two with Nefroth tending to Lulu's wounds, while Alex and Martin run into each other and decide the truce for the night, while Elraz lets Tombox into his shelter. Alex, Scoop and Sprout get into the fight with Alex killing them both, I guess he was playing Dragon Link or some other bullshit like that. Nova is getting homesick, while Mario questions his sanity, and Diddy decides to sp Spike Spanko's foods, and we get another corpse, while James quietly hums, and so does Yugi Mans. Alice tries to sing herself to sleep, while Sam receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor, I wonder if it's one of his Twitch subscribers. Gage tends to Aza's wounds, while Dylan convinces DK to snuggle with him, I would, I would watch this, make this a collab, and he decides to start a fire, but he can't, bummer, while Kodo shoots an arrow into Christian's head, wow. Coder is on fire today. Front Detective feats Stigel in a fight, but spares his life. While well, Bystander is unable to convince Guts not to kill him. You should have probably, I don't know, fought for your life. But I digress. I'm already dead. Well, am I, Yata, Joseph, and Zara tell each other ghost stories to lighten up the mood? And Strazzle destroys Raphael's supplies while he is asleep. Ha! Good one. Well, at least it's not raining. Welcome to day 3, which we start with Coder Normal summoning Alistair, Nethroth fishing, and Alexis searching for firewood, while well, From the Deck tends to Guns' wounds, and Lulu questions his sanity, while well, Alex discovers a new cave. Yato receives a water from an unknown sponsor, while well, Aza camouflages himself in the bushes. Raphael decides to construct a shack, while well, Tombox, Stratos, and DD, Gage, and Amai decides to hunt for other tributes. Nova decides that's a good place to start his archery practice, while DK decides that's a good place to make a slingshot. Martin unfortunately sprains his ankle while running away from Sam, and Steel James Zara and Elise raid Joseph's camp while he's hunting. Mario hunts for other tributes, while Dylan is drowned by both Eldaz and Yugi Mans, and in the meantime Annie discovered a cave. I wonder if it's the same cave as Simo discovered. Hmm. <laughs> Night 3 starts with Yugi Man's manly crying himself to sleep, while Tombox, Gage and Guns discuss the games and what might happen in the morning. This might be a bit of an issue since Tombox is somewhat of a judge, Gage is playing Redox and Guns is playing Duel Links. From the deck decides to spare Kodo's life after winning Duel between them, while Nova very manly screams for help. Annie and Stratos hold hands, which is a good basis to make a collab video, while Nifrov, Eliraz, Alexis and Amai sleep in shifts. And so do Martin, Lulu, Alex, Mario and NDD. Decade, Ellis and Raphael decide to cheerfully sing songs together, while Yata receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Aza unfortunately passes out from exhaustion, while Joseph is homesick, while Zara fans steal Sam and James away from her fire. Well, at least it's not raining. Amai severely injures Joseph and puts him out of his misery. In the meantime, Steel decides it's a good time to explore the arena, while Lulu and Alexis decide to split up and search for resources. James goes monkey and normal summons Alistair, while Gage tries climbing a tree but slips and falls. From the deck goes hunting, while Aza decides to pick some flowers. Nova sees smoke rising from the distance but decides to ignore it, while Annie runs away from Sam. Elora decides it's a good time to make a wooden spear, while NDD decides to react to the newest episode of the progression series. Elise decided to learn how to fish, while DK attacks Coder, but he manages to escape. Nefrov decides that he's going to be the David and take out all the Goliaths by making a very simple slingshot. In the meantime, Guns decides to up his kill count with Tombox by cutting him in half with a sword. Yata in the meantime receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor, while Raphael searches for firewood. Martin decides to take a book out of Elraz's book and makes a wooden spear as well, while Mario questions his sanity. Yugi Mans defeats Zara in a fight but spares her life, very good choice my dude, while Stratos decides that the first season of the progression series will be the last, tracks down and kills Alex. Welcome to night four, where Coder 
successfully defends his fire from Zaranefra and Stratos, while Exa does the same to DK, Theata and Alexis. Steel, Entity and Guns decide to cheerfully sing songs together, while Mario is getting homesick. Raphael decides to sing himself to sleep, while James decides to start a fire. From the deck contemplates his chances of winning the, this debacle, while Elise wants Martin to end her suffering, but Martin refuses, so she has to suffer again tomorrow. Nova decides it's a good time to do some stargazing, while Amai starts to start a fire. Elena stands to Annie's wounds, while Sam receives clean water from her CF1 sub on Twitch, while Yugi Mans receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Lulu decides to try and escape the arena, but dies horribly. Well, at least it's not raining. Welcome to day 5, and there's no better way to start the day then a kill. Nova tries to shoot an arrow at Amai but miss and kills Raphael instead. Aza is pricked by thorns while picking berries, while Alexis receives fresh water from an unknown sponsor. Stratos decides that Sam has withheld too much information on Masadul and decides to kill him with his own weapon. Theo decides it's a good day to fish, while Annie and Nefroth run around chasing each other. Mostly, Annie chases Nefroth. In the meantime, Entity receives some medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Guns, James, Mario, Eliras, and From the Deck decide to hunt for other tributes, and Kodor gets clean water from one of his Patreon. Elise defeats Zara in a fight, but decides to spare her to fight another day, I suppose. But this is not Dragon Ball, they won't get stronger. Well, Yata decides it's a good day to explore, and another death occurs with Yugi Mans accidentally stepping on a landmine. While well, DK decides to fish, and Martin unfortunately eats top. Toxic berries. <laughs> During night five, Stratos decides to climb a tree to rest, while Mario, Amaya, and Coder unsuccessfully ambush Alexis, Aza, and Eliras, who kill them instead. NDD sets up an explosive killing at least decade and steel. Wow, the, this night is really heavy when it comes to the corpse department. While well, Annie decides to throw a knife into James's head. That's like, what, seven? Seven dead in one night? And we're not even done? Jesus, people! From the deck, Guns, Yata, and Zara decide to tell each other ghost stories to line up the mood, while Nova is awoken by nightmares. Probably something to do with banning of Rhyhorn Dragon, the Yu-Gi-Oh! progression polls. And Nefroth decides to look at the stars. Seven deaths during the night and we still have one. And there's still the morning and the rest of the day. Jesus. <laughs> Welcome to the feast, the cornucopia is replenished with food, supplies, weapons and memoirs from the Tribute's families. And Nova decided to steal Zara's memoir, because why the fuck not? NDD decides to skip the event, while Nefroth steps Eliraz in his back. Ouch. Not honorable, man. While Stratus, Guns and Yata successfully ambush and kill from the deck Annie and Aza. Another triple kill. So we have like, what, nine people left? Jeez. And Alexis gathers as much food into a bag as she can before fleeing. Very good. Decision there. Well, at least it's not raining. Next we have the day 6, where Alexis diverts his gun's attention and runs away. Stratos searches for firewood, while Zara decides to not play Drytron anymore and returns to Monkey normal summoning Alistair. NDD decides to kill Nefroth for his supplies, and Yata proceeds to show us his fabulous sword play by slicing Nova into pieces. During the night, nothing really important happens, and he just decides to cook his food before putting his fire out. Alexis and Guns talk about the other tributes still alive, which aren't that many, and Zarayata and Stratos decide to sleep in shifts. Well, at least it's not raining. Welcome to day 7. The competitors have been in the arena for an entire week, and Zara tries to spearfish with a trident. I don't know if that is successful. Stratos, NDD, and Yato decide to hunt for other tributes, while Alexis decides to search for some firewood. Unfortunately, Guns dies from an infection. That's a very sad end to the person with the highest kill count.
Night 7, Stratos is getting homesick, while Yato is awoken by nightmares, probably of him getting banned again. And Didi and Zara decide to hold hands, which might be a good base for another collab video. Well, Alexis thinks about winning, this is a very good, she has high chances, there are only 5 people remaining, so every one of those has a good chance on winning. Well, at least it's not raining. Stratos and Nnd decide to threaten a double suicide, but it fails and uh, and they die. In other news, Alexis, Siata and Zara decide to hunt for other tributes, which kind of died already. So we're down to the top three, Alexis, Siata and Zara. Any one of them can win. To spice things up, a swarm of tracker jackers invades the arena and Alexis survives that attack. And so does Zara! However, Yata is not as lucky and slowly dies from the poison. <laughs> and during night 8, during the grand finale, Zara overpowers Alexis, killing her and securing the win. Congratulations to Zara, the fifth rate duelist, for surviving in this harsh environment. Funny enough, Alexis was her only kill. It was almost a pacifist run. Good job! Anyway, thank you all for watching. The link to every tributes channel will be in the pinned comment. While in the description, you'll find the link to this simulation so you can make it your own. With that, I have been Jacolo, and I'm signing out. Peace!